cheer up. I brought some of my finest brew to celebrate your birthday. And I've made my finest horseshoe for the fairy to shod your horse's hoofs as my gift to you. Ooh, and here's the nails and the hook, Mr. Shakespeare. I've snuck away from the babies to be here with you. London's finest playwright. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, and, and thank you, noble friends, for visiting with me today. It's just that, well, you know, I'm blocked. Oh, I know what you need. Figs! No. Brooms! <laughs> Castor oil! Oh. No, 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 not that, not that sort of block. Writer's block. Writer's What's that? What do you mean, love? Well, I know I want my characters to be real. You see, I, I need to know what I call their back stories. You see, back story. What's yes. a back story? Very oh, well. Story. My back is killing me. What we're delivering all those babies, preparing the laundry. No, no. What, what I meant is, I, I want my characters, what to be real, like you are. I want my audiences to know. What makes them do what they do? Well, real people do what the job requires them to do. I brew and sell ale. He's a blacksmith and she's a midwife. You pen plays. I suppose that's a real job. <laughs> it is. You are correct. You know, I'm penning a play now that's set in Scotland 500 years ago. Oh. I wonder, do you think your tasks have changed much over the centuries? Or oh, mine hasn't. A blacksmith has been making metal the same way for hundreds of years, and I don't foresee that changing for hundreds of years either. But I do wonder what your... Come on, Shaky. Make a wish. Go on. You know, I wonder what your tasks might look like in the future. Oh my God, I wish I oh, knew. Come on then, blow out the candle. Oh, Go on. Right, okay. Ah. <sighs> <sighs>